ASMR. Woof. Okay, so this is a video that I'm doing for a car review. This is a 1995 Eagle Vision car. It's a DSM car, which obviously is a, which was one Mitsubishi and Mitsubishi Motors, obviously Japanese brand, and the company, American company car Chrysler, which I agree, and that's the most reliable, but for Chrysler, this car back was actually was pretty reliable. I know people with Chrysler's that don't last that long, but this car was surprisingly reliable if you're in the market for a first starter car. Or a beginner car. It was my great my great grandmother's before she died in 2019 at the age of seven of 97. But she really treasured this car. And as you see here, it's got the eagle sign. You know, obviously the lights are in you know not a good condition, but the car has been sitting around. We thought about fixing it, but the problem is it has you know the the electronics stopped working, needs a new battery. And uh, my grandmother, of course, unfortunately, my grandmother didn't tell us, to, you know, when, you know, about the oil changes, and she was lacking the oil changes. So of course, the, the um, engine had dirty oil, and it started burning oil, and, and the transmission fell apart. So of course, that would cost it a lot. It would cost at least ten, fifteen thousand or more to put money just to fix it. So, what you were saying goodbye to it, and this is basically just the keys from it. And this is the really old fashioned keys for the old generation. I remember these keys. My first car actually had a key just like this too, with no mobilizer chip. And it's got obviously the Chrysler, like it's the DSM Chrysler Mitsubishi joint joint operation that they did back in the 90s cars. Such cars involved too was the Mitsubishi Eclipse. So, and as you can see here, you got your typical just 16 inch rims, you know. And pretty good, pretty good sidewall, you know, too. So it's a good, it's definitely a good car for someone who's just learning how to drive. It'd be an absolutely good car for them. Take you around to the other side. Okay, there's the front again. Obviously, you see these paint job, which, were, which we saw it would have told us it would cost it around three to six thousand. So that was just a bit much to pay. And obviously, it has those metal hull caps. You know, and then I used to have a rim like that, but, but it broke off years ago. My grandmother was driving it. It's like I said, unfortunately, my, and my grandmother's the type of person, you know, doesn't take good care of cars, unfortunately. When my grandmother's mother had it. It was in really, really good condition. You know, she used to change the oil on time. She changed the transmission fluid when it was recommended. But, you know, it just sucks because it was a real good car. And I used to be in this car all the time as a kid. We used to go all over the place in this car, and it was very reliable. So, so let's get you an inside tour of the car. Obviously, like the old-fashioned way, you just stick it in. Then that, pull it out. Open the car, and there's one on each side. And you got here. Put my keys down. Oh, it's not too loud. You got a lock button right there. You got your windows. Back windows, front driver's side, passenger. I must see a door lock, but says a wool lock for some reason. You know, unlock that, unlock door. You know, air vents. That's to change the mirrors. And you click which side you want. Got that little one right there. And then, so you got the light switch American car. A lot of American cars have this with a little dial. Like that. See? That's the speed. Obviously the hot or cold engine right there. You know, you got your gas. It had more gas than that, but obviously. And obviously this car doesn't start, so I could show you a demonstration, but unfortunately it won't start due to a lack of battery. That's, you just, you just stick it in there like that. Like that. And old-fashioned way for a lot of young kids might not remember and you got your horns here and there this is cool too you push this out and now comes that oh, it wasn't too loud and from here you got it in you got your hidden change there's batteries in there but uh, and you got your that's your emergency brake you push it like that yeah you got your obviously your 
set coast, rest, can't XL, cancel, off and off, cruise control. Got your typical air vents here. You got your key to lock it. You got this the button right there to press the trunk. Unfortunately, the trunk got jammed, so I won't be able to give a tour of that, unfortunately. And you got the original flooring mats from 1995. And it includes from my grandmother bought. My grandmother's mother, yeah, bought one when she was alive. Bought that to put on the steering wheel to lock it in place. Something they used to use that was popular in the 80s and 90s. And obviously you have a automatic transmission. It's just park, reverse, neutral, drive and start in first gear. And obviously three and L. And you got your typical factory just cigarette lighter, which is actually still in really good condition. Because this is the original from 95. But she never smoked, so it always worked pretty good. And for those in the, old, in the older generation or young people like me, remember cassette tapes. Because even though I'm in my, I mean, I'm in my late 20s, but I still don't remember cassette tapes. And I got the eject button and everything else. I'll show you a tour of the back seat. Check it out a moment. I'll get the back seat out for you real quick. That's kind of a pain. There's my keys there for a second, y'all. Hope you don't mind the noise. It's a little bit noisy because this thing's old. Unfortunately. And it's WD40. WD40 is really bad. And it's got the, you know, the hats you don't want. And it was childproof lock, so you could lock it from the front about this, you know, for the kids. And then they had this right here, a nice little rail where I used to sleep up and rest my head on when I was a kid on that. And it hides in place like that. And here's really nice too. You have an air conditioning unit in the back and you can turn in passenger, you can even turn it off at the back in the back seat or you can put it on your head or feet and you can decide how you want it, not the driver. That was always a good thing about it. And obviously same controls over there. Same cigarette thing, but I always used it as a kid for put my coins. Especially when I was going to the arcades down the beach. Sorry for noise. And then that's obviously the band, like I said, badly needs a paint job really badly. That's obviously it. The evil vision ESI. And so that's pretty much the one now. Also, that was the strong voice thing. That was a the um, nursing home that my grandmother stayed at. It was like, well, and that's how I mean, retirement home. Yeah, retirement home. And that's pretty much it for the 1995 Eagle ESI trim level car. So, hope you enjoyed this car review video as I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, hope you enjoyed this car review video. And if you like this, I could to do more car reviews as part of the car series ASMR. Just let me know how you like it. Remember to leave any comments down you want down below. Remember to hit that like button if you like this video. And remember, important, remember if you like my videos, to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. And remember to hit the ding bell icon so you can get notified of my videos. And that's just about it for this video. And I will see y'all in the next video.